Despite the sharp rise in new infections, Britain's Prime Minister Boris Johnson wants to end all corona measures in England soon. I talked about this this morning already, but this is important. From July 19th onwards, distance rules and mask requirements will no longer apply, as will the Home Office pubs no longer um, have to be served exclusively at the table. Nightclubs are allowed to reopen. There are no more space restrictions at events, and there is no vaccination or entry requirement proof of test required. Johnson emphasized on Monday in London that the binding decision would be made on July 12th after a further review of the pandemic data. Johnson had announced a cautious but irrevocable way out of the corona regulations months ago. The final stage had already been planned for June 21st, but Johnson had postponed it for four weeks because of the spread of the highly contagious Delta variant. In view of a successful vaccination program, the Prime Minister now sees the condition for the last step fulfilled, despite criticism from science, trade unions and politics. However, contrary to what was expected, the Prime Minister was not as enthusiastic. I don't want people to feel that this is the moment we demobilize, that this is the end of COVID. We are still very far from the end, he said, adding that one new variant against which no vaccine works could make new protective measures necessary. His key scientific advisors, Chris Whitty and Patrick Vallens, who stood by Johnson's side at the press conference, indicated that it was primarily a political decision. Gastronomy and the event industry still welcomed the announcement enthusiastically, of course. In Parliament, where Health Minister Sajid Javid informed MPs about the plans at the same time, some members of Johnson's Conservative Party burst into jubilation. In Great Britain, the number of infections has been rising sharply for weeks, and the authorities reported 27,334 new cases on Monday. The seven-day incidence, that means the number of new infections per 100,000 people within a week, was last given as 229.9 as of June 30th. The reason for this is the highly contagious Delta variant, which now accounts for almost all cases in Great Britain. For comparison, in Germany this value is 5. At the same time, the number of deaths with uh, 128 COVID deaths within a week is currently still at a relatively low level. Hospital admissions have also not increased to the same extent as the, the number of infections. The government attributes this to the successful vaccination campaign. 86% of adults in the UK are now vaccinated at least once. Almost two-thirds of those over the age of 18 already have both vaccinations. Johnson expects 50,000 new corona cases a day soon. But the vaccines have significantly weakened the link between new infections and deaths and hospital admissions. We have to be honest, if we can't reopen society in the coming weeks, when else will we be able to get back to normal life, said Johnson. He referred to good conditions with warm summer weather and the school holidays. The decision had already been criticized in advance. Scientists and trade unionists called for the mask requirement to be retained as the simplest means of warding of viruses in local public transport and in shops. In a survey by the YouGov Opinion Research Institute, a good two-thirds of those questioned were in favor of this. Critical voices also came from representatives of the chronically underfunded health service NHS, which celebrated the 73rd anniversary of its establishment on Monday. The head of the British Medical Association, the BMA, Jan Nagpol, told the BBC that it is incomprehensible that people are knowingly exposed to risk of infection in a time of high infection rates. The low-cost airliner Ryanair and EasyJet announced that, making, uh, that masking requirements still apply on board their aircraft, regardless of the rules at the departure or destination. Johnson said he would continue to wear a mask in places with many people. However, the dictation of the regulation must be ended. In the UK, health policy is a matter for regional governments. Johnson is responsible for most of England, which has no government of its own. Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland, on the other hand, decide for themselves about their corona measures. And their end. 
Welsh Prime Minister Mark Drakeford has already made it clear that he will not take over the easing. And I'll see you in my next video. Auf Wiedersehen.